time now, 5 o'clock on this Wednesday evening, August 20th, 2014, on a Wednesday evening, time now for the Waterman and Jusher, PJ Williams, the evening report. Wednesday evening, August 20th, 2014, good evening everybody, our congratulations at 5 o'clock in North Massachusetts, got a temperature of 78 degrees at temperature with a humidity of 36%, with speed 8 miles per hour today. Northeast here, and we got a dupe at about 49 degrees, and visibly of 10 miles. Take a look at our radar scope and it shows some spotty blobs of rain showers run and run between North Adams and Pittsfield here and to the west of us and some spotty rain showers run sub central Vermont and spotty rain showers run the capital district west of Albany and Schenectady and to the west of us a line of showers and storms from Washington DC west of Baltimore and central Maryland stretching in east central Pennsylvania now and for central New York and then up into northeastern and Ontario and down for western portions of Quebec and Atlanta, showers and storms down for Ontario, northeastern Michigan, stretching to northwestern Pennsylvania, down for east central Ohio, and to the west of us, Atlanta, showers and storms from sub central portions, southwestern portions of Ohio, around Cincinnati, stretching in Kentucky, Tennessee, down for Georgia, north central Georgia, and stretching down western and southern portions of Florida, air, and the Panhandle, air, and Atlanta, showers and storms from southern Louisiana, down for south. Eastern Central Texas, north of Houston here. And spotty rain showers from central and eastern portions of Missouri. In line of showers and storms from western Illinois. Searching down for central Iowa, northeastern Nebraska, down for Dakotas. And spotty rain showers from north central Mexico. And searching down for the western Texas and of Fort Corner region. And up in California, Nevada. Up in Idaho, Wyoming. And up in the western Montana. Searching in the southeastern British Company. And down for Alberta. Down for sub-central Saskatchewan. And for sub-central portions of Manitoba here. Slago, Missouri. Good evening. 94 degrees with scattered clouds here. Take a look at our satellite loop here, and it shows a line of clouds coming from Maine and up to the Quebec and then uh, Ontario, stretching up Central New York and Pennsylvania, down to Maryland and Northern Virginia. A line of clouds from Georgia, stretching into Kentucky, Tennessee, Seminole, Ohio Valley, down from Iowa, Minnesota, down to the Northeastern Nebraska, and down to the Dakotas, and stretching into Manitoba. Alberta, Saskatchewan, British Columbia, search of the down for the Rockies. There, and Atlanta clouds coming in from southeast of Texas, Louisiana, and Gulf Coast, and Atlanta clouds from western and southern portions of Florida, and the Florida Panhandle. Here, okay, let's take a look at, and that is Trouble Storm Lowell. Here, take a look at a map situation here. A cold front from central Montana, search of the no, no, northeastern Montana, and up in the Saskatchewan here, and a cold front down for Colorado, or a warm front from Nebraska down for Iowa, and a cold front from central Iowa, stretching in the northern Illinois, Indiana, down for Michigan, and a station front from western Ontario, stretching in down for Ohio, down for Virginia, down for North Carolina, and a cold front from North Carolina, and the not to see here. And we got a front line from western Oklahoma, Panama, down for western Texas, and a front line from southeastern California, down for Gulf of California. Foot of from southeastern Florida, and stretch the not to sea, and a foot from up St. New York and the North New England, and up in New Brunswick and about North Scotia. And a foot of from eastern Ontario, and up in James Bay, and a foot from Wyoming, and down for North Dakota, and a foot of from Oregon, and up for eastern Washington, and down for British Columbia. And we got high pressure in Yellowstone Valley, southwestern Colorado, eastern Arizona, and Gulf of Mexico here, and we got low pressure in northwestern Nevada, eastern Colorado, and western Nebraska, and western North Dakota, and down for eastern Washington State, and up there. Michigan and then up to the North Carolina coastline here. 72 degrees that temperature ran out in Boston. It is 81 out in New York City, 86 out in Washington, D.C., 80 in Pittsburgh, a pair of A4s in Chicago and Detroit, 81 out in Minneapolis, so Mahon, Tennessee of 89 degrees, 95 in Dallas and Brownsville, Texas, 90 in Miami, 73 in Atlanta, 84 out in Albuquerque, New Mexico and Denver, Colorado, 93 in Phoenix, 91 in Las Vegas, 77 in Salt Lake City and Los Angeles, it's 71 out in San Francisco, 66 in Seattle and 73 in Great Falls, Montana here. Current conditions around the region here. We have a 72 degree temperature reading for Boston. It's 81 for Pittsburgh, 76 in Bedford, 73 degrees for Beverly, 76 in Gloucester, 74 in Haverhill, 78 out in Worcester, 81 in Sturbridge, 82 in Webster, 79 in Norwood and Taunton, 76 in Bedford, it's 72 in Plymouth and Provincetown, 71 in Chatham, 73 in Falmouth, 66 in Cape Cod Bay, 74 in Montfort's Vineyard, 65 in Nantucket, 72 in Block Island, 73 in Wesley in Providence, 79 out in Smithfield, 82 in Springfield, 82 in Amherst, 80 out in Greenfield, pair of 78s in Pittsfield, and North Adams, that's 82 in Albany, 81 out in Bainton, 73 in Brattleboro, 81 in Keene, Hampshire, 77 in Jefferson, Hampshire, 79 in Concord, and Manchester, Hampshire, 81 in Nashville, and Hampshire, 74 in Possible, and New Hampshire. A pair of 83s in Winslow, and Hartford, it's 81 in Meriden, 79 in Waterbury, 80 in Danbury, 80 in New Haven, 78 in Bridgeport, 
Save for Long Island, it's 85 in Montauk, 80 in this little bit of net. 79 in New York City, you know? Forecast discussion around the country here shows that slight risk of severe thunderstorms across parts of the northern plains or our valley and southeast and flash flooding possible across parts of the northern plains and midwest and northeast. The northern half of the contiguous U.S. will be active with showers and thunderstorms during the short range forecast period as an upper level. Range of high pressure across the lower Mississippi Valley it keeps the strongest upper level flow from the South Rockies and in the northern plains and in the Great Lakes and a slow moving low pressure system is wing. Showers and thunderstorms are for the lower Great Lakes, Middle Atlantic states, and the Northeast this evening, there will be a slight risk of flash flooding across portions of the Northeast tonight. And then the Thursday, a west east oriented warm front will surface and focus area for showers and thunderstorms tonight into Friday and continuing into Saturday from the Northern Plains. Like Midwest across the R Valley, and a slight risk of flash flooding is also forecast for Thursday in those areas. In addition, there will be a slight risk of severe thunderstorms across portions of the Northern Plains for tonight. And please refer to the Convected at Loop Park Deck Station by the Storm Prediction Center for the further details of the severe weather threat. A front of boundary moving into the Northern Rockies and Northern Plains Thursday and Friday will focus areas showers and thunderstorms across portions of the Northern Rockies and Thursday in the Northern Plains on Friday. Across the Gulf Coast and Southeast and in scattered showers and thunderstorms will develop in Julian Canyon during the afternoon and evening hours. There will be a side with severe thunderstorms in the afternoon and evening across portions of the Southeast Northward to the Ohio Valley. Temperatures are over the next few days will be generally be average across the metro, the central and eastern United States and near or below average across the western United States. Here. Okay, let's take a look at our what is brewing in the tr tropics here. Okay, shower and thunderstorm activity is associated with an elongated area of low pressure located several hundred miles east of the windward islands and has become a little better organized during the past few hours. Added to the slow development of the system is possible during the Next day, two and a tropical pressure could form as the system moves west northwest at about 10 to 15 miles per across the lesser Antilles and into the Caribbean Sea. And after that, land interaction could limit the development of potential over the weekend. And regardless of tropical cycle formation, gusty winds and heavy rainfall are possible across portions of the lesser Antilles and Puerto Rico and in the Virgin Islands on Thursday night. And fighting an interest in these areas it should monitor closely the progress of the system. And Air Force Reserve Hurricane Hunter aircraft is scheduled to investigate the system tomorrow afternoon if necessary. Formation check for four hours. Medium about 50% of formation chest for five days. High 60% there. Hundreds and showers are searched with a broad area of low pressure centered to several hundred miles south of the Gulf of Tijuana and Pepec and been increased this morning, although there are no signs of organization yet. Conditional forecast to be conducted this system to develop in a trouble depression by the end of the week while it moves west northwest with about 10 miles per formation chest for five Medium about 50% of formation chest for five days. High about 8% here. Uh, and lays on Karina here. 65 mile by wind gust. Standard location 15.7 at the north, 136.7 to the west, and a movement at stationary here. And the latest advisory on Karina here. Karina barely moving here. It's, there are no watches and warnings in effect in the coast here at 2 p.m. Pacific time. 21 in UTC, the center of tropical storm Karina was located near latitude 15.7 in the north, launch 136.7 in the west, and Karina was sensationally for the first few hours, and a little motion has been inspected today in the eastward drift should begin on Thursday. It is 12.40 miles, 99.5 kilometers east of Hilo, Hawaii, and about 18.50 miles, 29.50 kilometers west of the summer tip of Baja, California, as much as the same wind gusts have increased to 65 miles per hour and kilometers an hour higher gusts in Hilo. Will change the terrain for forecast during the next 48 hours. Top storm force winds extend outwards up to 70 miles per 110 kilometers from the center and has made a minimum central pressure of 994 millibars at 26 inches here. And then it's on top of storm low. It's 19.4 in the north, 121 and a half to the west here. Max is staying with about 65 miles per movement, northwards about 5 miles per hour here. And public advisory low, a little stronger as it continues slowly northwards far from land here. And location 19.4 in the north, 121 and after the west, and about 75 miles, 12.65 kilometers west, southwest of the southern tip of Baja California, maximum same winds, 65 miles per hour, 100 kilometers an hour, present movement, northwest of 315 degrees at 5 miles per hour, 7 kilometers an hour, and minimum central pressure, 98 millibars of 29 and 18 inches. So I know close to watch the warnings when there's effect at 2 p.m. Pacific time, 21 in UTC, the center of 12 low was located in the latitude 19.4 in the north. 
Launch to 121 and after the west and low is moving toward the northwest between 5 miles by 7 kilometers an hour. This motion is expected to continue tonight, following an increase in forward speed on Thursday and Friday. And a maximum sustained wind gusts at near 65 miles by 100 kilometers an hour. Higher gusts than 7 days shows straight as possible in the next 12 to 24 hours. And tropical storm force winds extended out to 205 miles, 335 kilometers from the center. That's the minimum central pressure. 98 mil bars are 218 inches air. And we got a for the Central North Pacific, the Central Pacific Hurricane. Low pressure over the 900 miles south of the Honolulu is moving west slowly. As the thunderstorms are located in the new low, but it's showing little sign of organization here. Formation chance of forecast low temperature and low pressure over 700 miles southeast of Hilo Station. Nearing nearly as isolated thunderstorms occur, it's only 12 near the low, but it's showing a little sign of organization. Formation chance of forecast low temperature and elsewhere in our tropical cycles expected for Friday morning. And nothing brewing in the Eastern Pacific here. Okay. Tonight, slows we will be divided for the regions here. It'll be 60s for much of southern New England, up much of New York State, down for Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and Maryland, and 70s around the D.C. area, and 50s up in the northern New England, with a where 60 possibly run, run northwestern Vermont, and up in the Champlain Valley, New York State, here. 50s in the run out. And tomorrow's highs will be 71 to 76 degrees, and Friday's highs 68 to 73 degrees, here. And take a look at a little weather notes here and water temperature 65 degrees and 90 degree days in Boston. 13 for 2011, 12 for 2012, 18 for 2013, and 4 2014. A far contrast from last summer. This summer has been pleasant and beautiful. Two points in the 50s for New England, 60 months to the eastern portion of the United States, and Thursday morning clouds moving the region and rain 40% on Thursday, 50% on Friday, 30% Saturday to be dry on Sunday. And sunset 7:37 p.m. Air quality 56 is medium. Algae alert tonight and tomorrow 8.9 medium high. Friday creep it up to 9.4 and UV 8 out of 12. There. Okay, take a look at our little future cast radar here. Okay, now gonna take a look at our future cast radar. Clouds are going to be making its way in the overnight hours. There's going to be a couple of batches of rain shots down to the Cape Downs and then up to Vermont and upstate New York by about 8 o'clock in the morning. And then two areas of showers and storms throughout the day from one spot from New York State and one from the Cape Downs. There. It'll be cloudy It'll be cloudy skies on Thursday here. Okay. Take a look at a view from the outside. And it shows another beautiful evening on tap here. And if you're going to the Red Sox game against the Angels at Fenway Park at 7.10 p.m., another winner I expect to be a W in the weather department here. A beautiful day today. Even though the Red Sox are doing well, they're still in last place in the baseball department. They are first place winners in the weather department here. Beautiful weather in Fenway Park. Win and lose, two Sox fans. Okay, seven day forecast goes like this for tonight. Patch of clouds between 1 a.m. and 5 a.m. was written increasing clouds with a low around 53 degrees and east wind about 5 to 7 miles coming in the coming in the evening. Thursday, patch of clouds before 8 a.m. was most of the clouds got down near 75 degrees and northeast wind about 5 to 7 miles per Friday night. Most of the clouds got down 57 degrees and northeast wind about 3 to 5 miles per Friday. Chance of showers many before 9 a.m. and most of the clouds got down near 70 degrees and northeast wind about 7 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 30%. Friday night, most of the clouds got low in 56 degrees and northeast wind about 3 to 6 miles per hour. Saturday, slight temperature showers between 9 a.m. before 9 a.m. Parts of the sand skies were near 72 degrees and church of space to 20%. Saturday night, most of the clouds got low in 57 degrees and Sunday, most of the sand sky near 32 degrees. And Sunday night, part clouds got low in 55 degrees. Monday, most of the sand sky near 36 degrees. Monday night, most of the clouds got low in 55 degrees. 
or 56 degrees on Tuesday, sun's gone under 79 degrees on Tuesday night, mostly clear skies on 59 degrees, and for Wednesday, most of the sun's gone under 81 degrees. Pairs, what if I of the night of the evening out? Crease and clouds are new overnight, and cloudy day tomorrow. Peter Channel News Time 5 15. Time now for a little travel report here on this Wednesday evening. And it shows Safi Express me on both sides, bumper to bumper on both sides here. Two minute tunnel, both sides, bumper to bumper here. And 120 on the south front side, bumper to bumper from Route 20, Waltham all the way down through 95 and all over there. And stop and go traffic on 120 and the north. 93 south from both sides from Braintree Island down to Randolph here and 127 93 north full south from 95 to Norwood all the way down from 138 in Canton here and 128 on the northbound side south from Lexington and all the way out to Wakefield and 127 on the little south from Beverly all the way down from Wakefield here and Route 3 north little south from Burlington all the way up to Bill Wicker doing an accident on Route 3 on the northbound side and Bill Wicker here and Route 127 Northbound accident after you pass 225 Lexington in here and Route 2 in the eastbound side slow from Route 16 Belmont to North Cambridge here and 93 in the northbound side a little slow from 495 as long as I went up in the middle of in there 95 more five from both sides from Peabody all the way up in the New Hampshire border here 495 in the southbound side a little slow run the long stretch on the northbound side of 495 southbound 495 slow from 20 to 9 over all the way out to 133 in Tewksbury and 495 both sides slow around the Lowell area here from Route 3 to Route 3A in Billwick and Tewksbury here. And Route 2 in the eastbound side slow around the Harvard switch as you approach Route 495 from Route 2 here. Mass Pike on the eastbound side slow from Austin Bradford to Tolls down to South Boston and East Boston here. On both ends of the Mass Pike here, Mass Pike westbound side slow from Austin Brighton down to Western doing an exit on Mass Pike Eastbound after you pass Route 120 in Western and then you approach Route 16 in Wellesley here and Mass Pike Westbound side slow from Western all the way down to Natick here and 495 South slow from Route 20 in Marlboro down to Mass Pike in Westbury here. Route 95 on the southbound side and exit in Route 140 in Foxwoods. Traffic backed up from Main Street and Sharon all the way down to 495 out in Mansfield here and Route 24. Bond 5 for both sides from Randolph down to Fall River here. It's a little slow spot on 124 southbound, little slow every you get on the pass from 128 here. Route 3 northbound, a little slow when the Hing and Weymouth stretches here. 25 eastbound side, a little slow you put 6 and 28 in Buzzards Bay. And 20 northbound, a little slow you put your border water here. And Route 6 and then westbound side, a little slow around the Harvard stretch from 137 to 124 here. Route 195 in eastbound side, slow from Somerset down to Fall River here. Route 95 on the northbound side, an accident on around Route 37 in Warwick. It's traveling back to from Warwick down to Reg Williams Park 2 and back bump to bumper from Cranston down to downtown Providence here. 95 southbound slow from 126 down to downtown Providence. Route 6, 10 eastbound, a little slow to approach 95. 195 westbound, a little slow from East Providence down to Providence here. 295 from Alberta to Warwick. Except for a few slow spots around Route 37 in Warwick here. And Route 6, mile from Johnson and Providence here. And 146 step on a little slow from North Smithfield all the way down to Cumberland due to road construction of 295 in Cumberland there. Peter Channel News time 518 and it's time now for the Peter Channel News. A new report on this August 20th, 2014 on a Wednesday. Peter J. Wiggins in the news. What's happening in the world in the news? Our top story at 518 p.m. is freelance journalist. James Foley had dreams of being a school teacher, but chose a path for the international journalist to document the most important things happening in the world. As Clark said, as Foley set out to record most important things, as he was murdered by ISIS. Attorney General Eric Holder participates in a closed door meeting with students at St. Louis Community College in Florissant Valley on Wednesday in Ferguson, Missouri. Here today, Hamas says wife and a child with its military commander, Mohammed Deef, has been killed in an Israeli airstrike in the Gaza Strip. Tim Shaw. Started noise and the weakness in the muscles late in 2012 while playing as linebacker as special teams captain for the Tennessee Titans here. Scientists present definite proof that life exists 0.5 miles beneath the ice sheet in Antarctic Lake and picture a cocoid shaped microbial cell with an attached center and a touch to go from the subglacial lake woods column and water. People lining up to our grass from Morning Davis, a 13 year pitching sensation from Philadelphia, and some of them are cashing in. 
On Monday night, a 51-year-old Austin man was arrested in a peep time case near 80 Gardner Street in Brenton, according to the Boston Police Department spokesman Nisa Cookley, the man who was invited as Genesis Casimir will be arraigned. Herbal Iraq, U.S. Air Squad has been driven some ground commanders on a Sunni radical group Islamic State from northern Iraq across the border into Syria, Iraqi officials said. With a crucial deadline the inauguration of a new president approaching in an election ballot, we can in a critical stage fears that have that Afghanistan's fragile transition process could collapse into violence. The Blagrid Namwa's chef government opened up channels for talks with the same protests on Wednesday night to end the week long press that threatened to stabilize the country. Texas Governor Rick Perry makes the statement on Saturday at the Capitol Building in Austin concerning its denominant charges of cursing a public servant and abuse of its official capacity. Same sex couples will have to wait longer to begin marrying in Virginia after the United States Supreme Court agreed Wednesday delayed an appeals court will strike striking down the state's gay marriage ban. Task Cad Rivay of a college buddy of alleged Boston Marathon bomber Hoar Sarnava was accused of removing evidence from its Zarnav store between room has pleaded guilty to federal charges according to his attorney Robert Saul. Former Virginia Governor Robert F. McDonald took that stand in his own defense Wednesday against federal corruption charges said his wife, Maureen, seemed uneasy about his new life from the very first day as governor elect. U.S. stocks cut back on the attractive extended two session winning streaks Wednesday after a brief turn on Lauren Jitters and the outlook of a Federal Reserve policy. San Francisco Hewlett Packard Company posted a surprise increase in quarterly revenue after sales from its personal computer division climbed 12% by the flat decline in performance of MNIT. Bank Merrill will pay about $17 billion in the settled range of investigation into the predecessor and mortgage business, the AMP. And Bloomberg News are reporting the figure that comes in a high end of negotiations between the bank and the governor in recent years. Federal Reserve Chair Janet Yellen and speaking at the International Monetary Fund in July, then Yellen said the chief that is needing to have a Fed to start raising in its interest rates to address the risk that extremely low rates could destabilize the financial system. The care plan to make Cupertino the first city in California to receive its up to one gigawatt service U versus fiber optic broadband service, and California would be the sixth state in its nature and burlap. Barnes and Noble and Samsung unveiled a new reading focused tablet that will replace the book sales own Nook tablet. Jessica Abel Bailey is a woman are willing to commit murder for a latest film after the Los Angeles premiere for Sin City, a Dame to Kill. For her own Tuesday, Jessica Alba made sure to set her fashion levels to send at the character bar with her castmates. Here, in a new video for the ultra poppy Shake It Off, Taylor Swift takes on many roles of B Girl, a cheerleader, a ribbon gymnast, and the list goes on. Nikki Minjaf released a video from the new song Anna Corner at Midnight on a Tuesday night, and the NSW clip is just as high popping as one might expect. In sports, when Mike Pettine announced his decision on the Cleveland Browns quarterback competition Wednesday morning, I was shocked to surprise to see the first senior coach named Brian Hoyer the starter. In Cleveland, Kent State says one of his football players, Justin Bitsko, died, and the police believe he passed away from an internal medical issue and died in his sleep. Tonight, the Red Sox will be taking on the Los Angeles Angels at Fenway Park with Clay Bucks and a man. Game time, 7 to 10 p.m. on Nets. And here, the Space Watch is at UFO Blogger. Says this image shot by a NASA Curiosity rover on the surface of Mars shows what it looks like in the time along the Florida UCF season opener album next week will be against Penn State, maybe in peril because of possible volcanic eruption in Iceland. All um, women spiders in urban areas that faster grow larger or be able to produce and royal travels the new city has shown. Good news, taxpayers, teens are wising up and using credit deception, which led to dramatic drop in the teen birth weight, the 57% drop in credit with an estimate for million fuel. We're birthed in the state of the United States. A Liberian Army soldier, part of the Ebola Tax Force, chased a local resident while enforcing in a quarantine on a West Point slum in Monrovia on Wednesday. In Sacramento, health is on Ebola alert as patients showing possible Ebola symptoms at Sally at the Sacramento Hospital. And Pro Football Hall of Fame and former Buffalo Bills quarterback Jim Kelly was told by a recent LVH to found no evidence of cancer, according to two. the executive director of the New York Head and Neck Institute in Lenox Hill Hospital in Manhattan. Near. Hmm. Take a look what is going on with the New England Instant Alerts here at 524. A Chelsea man has been charged and connected with the fatal shootings of Keith and Joseph Cal and Lowell Police and the Middlesex District Attorney and at the press conference on Wednesday afternoon here. In Somerville, Massachusetts, there is a 93 Northbound accident and exit 29 and 7 car motor vehicle accident. AMS SS and injuries right two lanes taken extensive delays and reported heavy damage to vehicles there. And side view of the truck truck to trail on Route 108 in Stove Vermont from the Vermont State Police there. 
and a brand new Massachusetts fully involved car fire. New York State 93 Northbound by exit 6 here. Okay, Peter Chell News Times 524. Time now for the stock market report here. Down 69.39.13, up 59.54. SB 5986.51, up 491. And NASDAQ 45.2648, down 103. European markets here. Tax 9314.57, down 19.71. FTSC 6755.48, down 23.83. And CSA 4042.40.79, down 30.66. Asian markets here. Nikkei 15454.45, up 4.66. And Shanghai 2240.21, down 5.12. And HSI 25, 159.76, up 36.81 here. Oil 93.49, up 6.300 point. Rent 102.29, up 7.300 point. And Natural Gas 3.837, down 400 point here. And in the gold, 1292.50, down 420. Silver 19.45, up 3,000 point. And Copper 3.1705, up 8,200 point. In the bonds, U.S. 10-year yield, 2.4281, up 21 thousandths of a point. Germany 10-year yield, 99%, up 3 thousandths of a point. And Germany's 10-year yield, 52%, up 3 thousandths of a point there. European U.S. style, 1.326, up 2 thousandths of a point. U.S. style, Germany 10, 103.73, unchanged. And Great Britain, Japan, U.S. style, 16592, down 2 thousandths of a point. And that is going to be what I'm going to just show news, even more than this August 20th, 2014. On a Wednesday evening, PJ will see about good evening with a good positive. I'll be back at 11 or after the Red Sox game and the sports lineup. Have a good evening.